Hi everyone. Welcome back to our devotion time. Today is November 2nd and our devotion is titled Generosity of Time from 2 Corinthians 9-7. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you and thank you today for giving us opportunities in our life to give, to give of ourselves, Lord, to give of our time, our finances, our affection and compassion, to put our energies toward eternal things. We thank you, Father, and ask that you would help us today to repent of any selfishness that we have in our hearts and that you would fill us with your love and with your willingness to serve others. Give us a servant's heart today, Father, I pray. And thank you for anointing me for this, this devotion to speak the words that you would have me speak. In Jesus' name, amen. Sometimes it is easier to be generous with our money than our time. Life is usually so busy that we tend to guard our time religiously. Often we get so focused on ourselves and on our own to-do list that we fail to notice the needs around us. Perhaps a friend could use a phone call or an elderly neighbor help with planting her garden. Maybe volunteer hours could be a blessing to a teacher or someone at church who needs help moving. We are called to be the hands and feet of Christ. There are so many opportunities to serve others around us, and there are such blessings to be found when we do. Sometimes giving of yourself is more valuable than a hastily written check. God loves a cheerful giver. Be that cheerful giver, even if it means laying aside your own needs or schedule. Think about how you could bless someone with your time. I don't know about you, but this devotion brings a lot of conviction upon my heart um, because I know my heart. And even though I do give of my time, I also know how much inside of myself I struggle at times to do that. And before I even started the camera today and the video, I prayed and I asked the Lord to give me his heart, to give me a servant's heart, to give me a cheerful spirit about giving of my time. Today, our devotion will be a little bit shorter, and it's because I'm going to go and serve at the church and do the food drive. And I really, really understand the vital importance of being there because they need people to be there. But I had, to be honest, I had thought it was going to be next week, and so I had other plans. And I woke up and realized with the text that came through from our pastor that it was today. And my first reaction in my in my half-asleep state was disappointment because I knew I had planned on doing other things. And I thought, you know, I'm not going to sit here and condemn myself and kick myself. But I, I just, I stopped and I said, Lord, help me in that area where I'm still selfish. You know, there's still sifting to be done inside of us, you know, in all of us. And I just share that because I want to be um, transparent with you guys that we all experience those times where we go, okay, I'm going to go do this. I, I don't really feel like doing it. But, you know, we talked yesterday about being imitators of God. So, you know, going out and just doing the right thing for the purpose of it being the right thing. Do it because it is the right thing. And, you know, and ask God to help you have that cheerful heart if you don't have it for that particular task. Maybe some voluntary tasks bring you a lot of joy and so you look forward to them. But then there's those that, you know, are harder. And for me being, you know, physically the way it's been for me lately, my health, going and lifting boxes and moving stuff and, you know, standing for hours. That's, that's not looking like a fun th task to me, but at the same time, I really want to give of my time. Um, and so, you know, that part of me that said, Oh, okay. You know, <laughs> I prayed and I asked the Lord and you know what? I feel better about it because I know the Lord is answering my prayer. And when I get there, I'm going to have a wonderful day. I'm going to have fun with the people that come and visit with the folks that need, you know, that need help. And 
um, visit with some folks from my church, and it'll be a good time. So I just encourage each one of you, if there are people in your lives where you could just make a phone call and that would make a difference, or there's somebody that has need of you helping them to clean their house or move, or maybe just go visit an elderly friend or neighbor, you know, it's such a valuable thing to give of ourselves because when we're giving of ourselves and we're walking in that kind of love, the Lord is right there in this, in in his space, making all things work together for our good, you know, behind the scenes. I call the behind the scenes, that's God's space. That's where he's working. And when we're doing the work of his son and representing Christ to people around us, God, our father, is doing the work to bring about the good things in our lives. So let's go out and let's be generous and let's be a blessing and give cheerfully. Let's pray. Father God, show us how we can be a blessing to someone with our time today. <clears throat> Lord, we want to give cheerfully, even if it means we have to lay aside our own needs or our own plans or our own wants. Those things in time will come. But Lord, what you have for us to do today, the opportunities that you bring into our realm, Lord, we pray you would help us to have a cheerful heart and to answer those needs, to go forward and to, and to activate our love and our compassion and our faith and give to someone else in those opportunities that you give us to, get, to do. We praise you and thank you that you've already made good works, that you've already planned good works for us. And we just ask that you'd help us to see them and to, and to do them when they come with a cheerful heart. We praise you and thank you, Father God, for every opportunity to serve others. And we do ask for a servant's heart today. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Go out and be a blessing. I'm going <laughs> to. God bless. Bye-bye.